Joining us here at ASH 2011, we're happy to have with us Elias Jabor. He is assistant professor and internist in the Department of Leukemia at the MD Anderson Cancer Center. Thank you, sir. Thank Thanks you so for much for here. having me. It's my pleasure. Let's talk about uh, what you've presented, the main data on, uh, on patients with CML. Well, as you know, CML, uh, a lot of progress has been done in this field where the survival of patients has changed from being very poor five to six seven years and today patient can have a normal lifespan 25 years and longer therefore CML is not anymore a deadly disease it's really a chronic disease where patient can live normally and can take their medication and that is due to the tyrosine kinase inhibitors the first one to be approved was imatinib and then after that we had two drugs nilotinib and dazatinib and we have another one still in investigational setting called bozotinib and all these are promising options for patients so they can have a normal lifespan and eventually one day the challenge remains to cure this patient by stopping their medications. Uh, during these four days at the meeting in San Diego there was several data showing efficacy of the drugs, how sustained these results are and then the next challenge is can we stop the drug? Uh, can we cure this patient totally without having to take any medication? Uh, and how, what are the milestones that we need to hit to get the best uh, outcome uh, that we want? Uh, there was an update of trials presented already. Uh, today, uh, there was an update of the BELLA trial, which is a randomized trial assigning patients to either standard of care, imatinib or bozotinib. Uh, bozotinib has shown superiority in efficacy compared to imatinib, mainly what we call the major molecular response rate that really correlates with better outcome. On intent to treat uh, analysis, there was no improvement in a, what we call the complete cytogenic response rate, and that is mainly due to the management of certain side effects. Nevertheless, the study has shown improvement of the responses, improvement of transformation rate and progression down the future. Uh, I'm hoping that the drug one day will get an approval uh, and will be added another option uh, to the management of CML uh, that remains to be determined in the coming uh, months or in the coming year. Based on all this information, can you provide us with an overview of best practices for treatment of CML today? Well, definitely, I still recommend physicians dealing with CML to refer this patient to academic centers because it's a rare disease and it's hard to acquire the best expertise you want. That being said, I plead for a collaboration between academicians and community physicians to start every patient as early as possible on the best DKI available. And the idea is to get the best response early on. And we know from a lot of data that early responses do correlate with outcome. And that is a major advantage of drugs with more potency against BCR evil, uh, nilotinib, dazatinib, and bozotinib as well. What are the unmet needs you're facing for patients with CML? The unmet need uh, remained cure, like not the functional cure. We get to the point where functionally we can cure these patients, but the idea would be not taking any medication and cure cancer, which is we all dream and we, this is what we're doing, working for. So I'm hoping that at least we can identify patients that can be cured, one. Second, with several options available, what I would like to have, what we call personalized therapy, where each patient, I will give them the right treatment. So this, try to identify early on who's going to benefit from drug A, who's going to get drug B, who can get drug C. That has impact not only on the life of the patient, financially, where we can select minimal thing for patients who require minimal thing, where patients with aggressive disease may get more, that needs to determine. And I think my role as academician, as well as my colleagues, is to get to a point where you can identify such factors. Good luck to you in getting there. Thank you so much. Congratulations Thank you. on Thank your you. work and thanks for sharing it with us. Dr. Elias Jabor from the MD Anderson Cancer Center talking about CML here on OncuView. Thank you so much. All right, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir.